fixing to leave the truck stop here and uh, we're going to go down to our delivery place. Supposedly it's like 2 miles down the road or 2.6 miles. So we'll go see. Got a lot of peat moss. With us and uh, supposedly that's a big place up there that's what I've heard from other guys so let's go down there and check it out see if we can find it here we are going down this narrow road and check a look at these beautiful trees up here man holy smokes that's nice and big trees green up here all right that's where Body is. I don't know if that was my place or not. Well, this looks like this is it. Drivers check in at the front before You have arrived docking. at your destination on the right side, mm -hmm. 16, by a road. This looks kind of tight to get in here, but we'll get in here. Here we are, guys, going down 105 in Texas. We're actually taking this highway across. Uh, our pickup is actually a shortcut it is absolutely gorgeous going down back roads up here in Texas that is for sure you get all kinds of big trees and different trees that you never see up in Canada oh yeah absolutely breathtaking it's a little uh, it's not really a narrow road but it's a small road but I enjoy going through these roads up here in Texas you know I mean just look at these trees that you got down here you know just I love it I wouldn't mind living down here except I couldn't well I guess you could get used to the heat but South America was the same thing it was really hot you know but well, look at that even a little couple of cattle up there They even got 70 mile an hour speed limit. I even see sections in there where they had 75 mile an hour speed limit up here. Uh, looks like sign right there coming up there. 75 mile an hour speed limit on this two lane road. Man. Holy smokes. I can't imagine holding ass down here at 75 mile an hour. <laughs> wow, that'll be fast, especially at night. Creatures coming out of the bush, you know. Oh well. We got about 50 miles to go to our pickup and we'll see how that goes. Hopefully a load will be ready there for us and we'll be able to load right away. I know the load offer says we're only supposed to be there at 4 o'clock but I'll be there about 1 o'clock it looks like right now or maybe even quarter to 1. At least that's what the GPS says, quarter to 1 right now. So we'll see, we'll see. If we can get loaded sooner or not, if not, I guess we'll just have to wait. But I'm kind of hoping that I can get loaded, that way I can start driving uh, towards Winnipeg uh, ASAP, you know. That way I can probably make it home by Thursday night. That would be awesome if I could do that. But we gotta go with the flow, I guess. Alrighty guys, we are getting very close to the... Uh, I-10 but figured I would show you guys a little bit of the uh, different type of buildings they got up here and signs and stuff like that yeah they look at that they even got some palm trees up here yeah Texas just looks different not that it looks better or worse than any other place but when you look at the buildings like especially uh, personal homes and stuff like that like residential areas, that looks totally different than a lot of other places. 2.5 miles. Keep to the left on I-10 East. All right, all right. We will try that. We will try that. Yep, it is a busy place in Texas. That's for sure. Alrighty, guys. We just finished getting loaded here a little bit ago, and uh, just down the road there is actually a flying J with a scale. 
And this is why we should always scale the load. Look at that. We are sitting at 35,020 pounds on the drive. So <clears throat> that is a good <clears throat> reason why you should always scale it. And I uh, rescaled it. And I'm sitting at 33,780 pounds now. So that's what it was before and that's what it is right now. So we are back in business. So let's get out of here and head towards Winnipeg. Alrighty guys, we are finished for today. We are at the uh, Shale truck stop. It's not a Flying J or anything like that, but it is a Shell gas station uh, sort of slash truck stop. It's got probably trucks, uh, is it maybe 40 trucks in here, but uh, it's full right now. Yep, and I finished uh, recording and releasing my uh, winner announcement for the truck Rudy Head. Yeah, and uh, he has already contacted me back and let me know his address. So once I get home, we'll uh, we'll be mailing it off to him. Yeah. So that was a <clears throat> very very good contest. I think we had there. I certainly enjoyed every little bit of it. I really enjoyed watching all the numbers come in there like bang, 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 you know. <laughs> oh, that was a lot of fun, but I hope you guys enjoyed it as well. And uh, But more important than that, I uh, really hope that you guys uh, will continue watching my videos and uh, I hope I can create good content uh, for you guys and make it interesting. And uh, hey, today was... Uh, a busy day for me really getting loaded and unloaded and all that stuff there and uh, at the uh, pickup place where I picked up my load at they uh, made me actually sit inside and no electronics were allowed I wasn't even allowed to drink anything no no uh, no drink or food or anything like that was allowed in the warehouse so I sat there for about two hours inside before I was done loading so that kind of sucked but hey that's the way it goes sometimes with uh, shippers and receivers you know and that's what we have to deal with so but good thing is we got unloaded and we got reloaded and good thing is too I was able to change the appointment the uh, dispatcher had made it for four o'clock in the afternoon and I called him up and I said well I'm going to be there by one o'clock, by quarter to one or so. And I said, uh, can I change it to one? And they said, oh yeah, no problem. They got me in there by one. They gave me a door right away as well, but I still had to wait an hour, I think over an hour before they even started loading me, but that's okay. I'm not going to complain about that as long as we got loaded today. And we got loaded before our appointment. And that's always important as well and uh, hey we got out of there by three o'clock already I think yeah by three o'clock we got out of there already and just down the road there is the flying J so I had to go grab me a bite to eat and scale it and move the trailer axle and by the time I think we got out of there it was already after four <laughs> so we drove a couple of hours yet and now we're here and yeah, looks like we got 1386 miles to Winnipeg so we got ourselves a good two days drive yet, or over two days, yeah. Yeah, so tomorrow is Tuesday, Wednesday. Holy smokes, I should be in, uh, in Winnipeg by Thursday morning sometime. Yeah, I think that should work, yeah. So we'll have to see if we can uh, schedule ourselves an appointment there for Thursday to get unloaded. If not, we'll have to see if... Uh, Dispatch will allow me to drop the trailer at the terminal in Winnipeg. I know uh, they told me to deliver direct, but uh, they said to deliver on Friday, but I'm going to be there Thursday, that's for sure. So, anyways, that's enough. We will get out of here and uh, we will see you tomorrow again. I release my videos at 2 a.m. Central Time. I know very few people are up there 
early but hey we get them up there just for those of you that you know maybe are in a different part of the world somewhere and they might have a different time zone and they might want to watch it before they go to work so that's why we do it but hey if you are new to the channel welcome we appreciate you and if you haven't subscribed there should be a subscribe button right there in the corner one of the corners anyways it's always the opposite if I point that way it's probably on that side right but wherever there is a there is a, a subscribe button on the right hand corner of the screen and uh, we would appreciate if you get the subscribe button thumbs up and uh, basically hit the like button and also share this video and maybe if you like it maybe your friends would like it as well so thank you guys for watching and we are signing out truck rudy have a good one Behind me, that day is gonna come